Hey everybody, it's David Wilson offering you networking tips and tricks to help you monetize your networking, make better connections in business, your personal life, what have you, so that you can get the most bang for your buck from your networking experience. If you like the tips that I talk about here, subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know if they're working for you. Let me know if they're not working for you. Uh, and it will help the community be better. Uh, and it'll help me to put out better content for you. Today, we are going to talk about referrals. And we hear the term referrals, but what is a referral? That's what we're going to talk about. And, and in the form of the components of the referral. So that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. What are the components of a referral? So if you have all of these components, you have a referral. First thing I want to debunk, uh, first and foremost, is good referral versus bad referral. You hear people say, "Oh, well, I, I got a I got a bad referral or I got a good referral." So based on my uh, 25 plus years in, in in business, in networking, and connecting, my 25 plus years as a member and a BNI and a director consultant in uh, BNI Business Network International, the world's greatest uh, networking organization. It's either a referral or it's not. So the term bad referral, I don't really use. You might hear that in other videos and, and, and whatnot, but, but the way I teach it, there's, there's no such thing as a, as a bad referral. So there's really no such thing as a good referral it's a referral or it's not a referral and if we keep that uh, in mind then I think I think we'll be we'll be much better off so here are the four components and we're going to talk about each one of what makes it a referral so permission permission to contact the person the, the person knows the refer the referred person gives permission to call. The referred person knows why you, why you are calling. The, the referred person is expecting you to call. And the referred person can, can buy and or is in the market to buy a product or service that you offer. If all of those things are in line, that is, that is a referral. Couple of exceptions. If you ask to be connected to a to something specific, like you're a realtor and you, you ask to be connected to a for sale by owner, um, like you hear realtors say, oh, great referral for me is take a picture of a for sale by owner, take a picture of the house, take a picture of the sign and send it to me so I can call them. Do you have permission to call? No. Are they expecting your call? No. For some, that's a that's a referral. If that if they say that's a referral, that's that's fine. And what a lot of folks do, they kind of give give their team those low hanging fruit to develop a relationship, build a relationship, and and um, pass referrals that way. Those aside, we're, we're we're talking about everything else. Okay, first let's let's talk about let's talk about permission. So, uh, my business, we'll use my business just because it, it's easy. Fund you up. Uh, we help businesses get funding when traditional means are not available. So, hey, David, I have a referral for you. Okay, it's Steve. All right, and and let's just focus on end users here, not referral sources. All right, Steve is a business owner and he is looking for funding. He needs to make payroll by Friday. His company needs to make payroll by Friday. Here's the referral. Okay. So let's check the four components. So permission. So do I have, shall I reach out? And I'll ask this question with a referral. So Steve's expecting my call, right? Should I reach out? And, and, and I'm, you say it like that. Steve's expecting my call, right? But he should be expecting my call. He should be expecting my email. Well, no, I just noticed that he, uh, he, he mentioned to me, he doesn't want anybody calling him. It's not a referral. Stop, stop, that's not a referral. It's a lead. 
if it's not a referral. Now, in in, in the case of this, um, you might reach say, my partner, my teammate might reach out to me and say, "Hey, look, Steve, Steve, here's Steve's situation. He doesn't want anybody calling him, so I'm not passing this as a referral, but I'm giving you this information. Maybe there's something you can do with it. Maybe there's something you want to do with it. Okay, no problem. All right. So, Steve, let's say Steve has no has given permission, given the referrer." So the, the my partner uh, permission to have me call Steve. Okay. So that's number one. Does Steve know why I'm calling? Yes. Because I told Steve that you help people get funding quickly. Cool. And Steve's expecting you to call. Perfect. Because Steve's in business, he's been he's been in business. His business has revenue, so he can't. He is in the position to buy the product or service I offer. So in that case, if all of those components work, it is a referral. Here are some scenarios that have happened to many people. So I've, I've been doing this a while, and I hear a lot of horror stories that people share with me. Oh, you're not going to tell anybody else, are you? you? This is between me and you. Yeah, it's between me and you. No problem. Yeah, well, when I called, when I called Steve, he didn't even know who I was. Oh, okay. So no permission. Yeah, when I called Steve, he didn't even know who my referral partner was. Okay. When I called Steve, he was angry at me. Well, why was he angry? Because he wasn't expecting me to call him. Okay. Um, I called, so, so far, everything we've talked about, none of those are referrals because they don't meet those four criteria. Simple, simple as that. So in, in, in many cases, it requires us to do more work, just get the permission. Yeah. And that goes back to, uh, the no rejection connection that, that I share the script you can find that at the no rejection connection.com where the, the the how to connect anyone to anyone anywhere for any reason without the fear of rejection so steve based on what you're telling me about your business you know i think you should have a conversation with david um it's worth a conversation perhaps over coffee or over zoom to explore uh, what he may be able to do for you is it okay if i have him contact you no I don't want him to contact me. Okay, it's not a referral. As excited as you may be that you may have almost found the, the, the perfect center, it's not a referral. It isn't because you don't have permission. What I would do in that case is share with your partner. Okay, well, here's, here's what we have. This isn't a referral, but um, the stories get worse though. Uh, and I'll, I'll again use myself as an example. So I have some animated videos that, that I've created over over the years to, to market my business and, and whatnot, these one minute videos, and they're pretty cool. You know, I created them through a program called Animaker and they work as marketing videos for me. So, hey, David, yo, what's up? I got a referral for you. Okay, what's the referral? It's Steve, it's always Steve. All right, it's always going to be Steve, not Steven, but it's always going to be Steve. Okay, does Steve need funding? No, Steve needs a video. He watched your video and he said, wow, those are great videos. And I said, yeah, that David Wilson, he created those himself. Awesome. So I'm going to refer Steve to you. Is that a referral or is that not a referral? You're right. That's not a referral. Oh, well, wait a minute. Wilson, it's, of course it's a referral. Why is it a referral? It doesn't meet, meet the fourth criterion. The fourth criterion is can, can buy or is in the market to buy a product or service that I sell. I am not a video maker. I don't do that for a living. If you like that, that's that's like, oh, wow. I'm going to refer Steve to you because he needs he needs somebody to work out with him. That's not what I do for a living. That is not a referral. That may be a great connection, but it's not a referral. And believe it or not, I've seen this garbage 
and and we we have to do we have to do better as networkers we have to do better as connectors we have to do better at members of our organizations to to pass actual referrals and not and not crap because because a lot of times we just we just it, it, it's it's about not wanting to take those extra two steps to solidify the referral why I believe it's because we don't want to be rejected. We we don't we don't want to be rejected. What happens though is the more of these trash pieces of paper that we pass, the more it hurts our credibility. The more it hurts our credibility. And and like I always say, people while while people should convey that information, they don't always they don't always. And what it ends up being is, you know, I just don't want to deal with you. I don't want you as a referral partner. You've passed me so many s s s such such garbage that I don't I just don't want to deal. And that it's reflecting on the way you do business. So the the result, the end result is this person's just not going to get any referrals from the other person. Okay? What should happen? If, if you get a bad referral, the first thing you should do is thank the person for thinking of you. Thank you for, for thinking of me in passing me this, this referral, um, but this isn't a referral. Here's why. So you have permission as a member to do that. You sh you, it's, it's your duty, really, to do that. So this is not this is not a referral. Here's why I didn't ha I called Steve and Steve didn't even know who I was. Oh well, I told him. Well, obviously you didn't because he didn't know who I was. Steve doesn't own a business. Oh well, you know he's starting a business. He doesn't own one. It's not an operating company. That's not a referral. And as the receiver being on the receiving end of this conversation this is a learning opportunity this is this is where this is where you learn more about your partner you learn more about how to refer him or her business so that it really so solidifies the uh, the relationship okay passing passing not a referral is not necessarily a bad thing the first time it's not necessarily a bad thing the second time, but third, fourth, fifth, it starts it's starting to get bad. Because when I tell you about my bum my bum big toe, because you stepped on it accidentally the first time. So like, oh what happened? Oh yeah, you, you stepped on my toe. I have a bad big toe. Oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry I didn't mean to do that. Then you step on it again. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. The third time though. After I've explained to you twice that I have a, 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 a daggone bum big toe, now, now I start to question, do you even care about my foot? Do you even care about my toe? Because you keep doing it. And that tells me you don't really care, you don't really care about me at all. There's some other motive. There's some ulterior motive. There's there's some, or you're just you're just that disconnected from me that it doesn't matter to you what you do to me how you make me feel so consider that consider that so the four components you have permission to call the referral the referral is expecting your call the referral is knows why you're calling and the referral can buy or is in the market to buy the product or service that you offer, that you offer for a living. Those are the components of a referral. If all of those are not met, with the exception of the for sale by owner type of example that I gave earlier, it is not a referral. Do not pass that, do not put that in the system, do not put that in connect. Take my word for it, because if you do, it's just gonna damage your relationship. Do better, do better and do the work to get those, those, fulfill those, those four criteria and watch the relationship with 
your teammate blossom, get stronger, get better. That's what we are. That's what we should be looking for uh, in BNI. So components of a referral. I am David Wilson here to share with you my over 25 years of experience with uh, BNI as a director consultant, as a member, uh, author of I Hate Networking Events, the blueprint to what to do before, during, and after your networking event of choice. You can check that out at IHateNetworkingEvents.com. Um, like, share, comment below on this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. So again, I am David Wilson. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time on networking tips and tricks. Oh, and if you, you know, if you have an idea on, on a better name than that, because networking tips and tricks is probably out there somewhere. Um, networking tricks and tips, maybe, or tips and tricks of networking. I thought just throwing those different names around. Um, it just tricks and tips and tips and tricks of networking, networking tips and tricks. Uh, something like that but I'll, I'll come up with something uh, something better or maybe you'll come up with something better I don't know thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time